bring ideas that we had in our head to make baits better and actually put it into stores, actually put it in your guys' hands. And we haven't taken any shortcuts. We've spent our time really designing these baits, making sure we have the best hook, the best weed guard, adding the weight to the top of the jig to really be different than anything else in the industry. But with Catch Cool, we've really taken our time when producing these products and making sure it's exactly what we want and exactly what Guggen wants to represent in the market. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am talking about the new gridiron jig, which is right here, our half ounce jig with a little cracking craw on the back. I'm gonna kind of talk about how to fish this jig, where we're fishing, and the best ways to do it. So stay tuned. It's a little bit windy today, so we are gonna be fishing the windblown brush in this lake. I am throwing it on some braid because of how heavy the cover is. I wanna be able to pull those fish out. I'm using a 7.6 heavy rod. This jig is pretty, pretty heavy. I mean, it's a half ounce. You probably would want to use more of a quarter to three eighths ounce if it wasn't like windy like this. Right now we've got a brush pile coming up. I'm just going to take this jig, flip it right in there. Whenever working a jig, you want to try and keep and maintain bottom contact. So I'm hopping it very slowly off the bottom, waiting for a hard thump or my slack line. And when I do have that slack line or that thump, that's when I'm going to set the hook. So far, I haven't had bites yet, but we do see a lot of promising wood coming up, so. Oh, heck yeah. Ooh, I just missed one right off that brush pile. Must be little. Maybe a bluegill? <laughs> Maybe a bluegill. that fish right there called it I, I highly doubt that that fish hit me twice but I did manage to catch him probably about four pounds jig right in the corner of the mouth perfect hook perfect weight get it back so right now I'm going to talk about the jig a little bit kind of what makes this jig unique this is the gridiron jig it has a unique head design which is kind of a mix between a football and a hybrid flipping jig it's got a very very strong hook and when it comes to making a hook you know there's a bunch of brands that make hooks but it's mostly about the point and the material that it is made of this is a totally custom blend for this jig right here we've got a very strong hook keeper and then we've got a weed guard here which is multiple colored bristles and the reason for that being is each bristle has a different strength so it's kind of a blend that makes this jig perfect to us my favorite trailer for the gridiron would have to be a Kraken Craw. Um, just in a silver, this is in our natural color. I'm just gonna bite a little bit down, make it a little bit more finessey, a little more compact. Put it right on there like that. Through. And then we've got that wire hook keeper there, as well as a hook keeper on the top that's built into the jig head. Double hook keepers, keeps your plastic on there very, very nicely. Right there is the weight, so you'll never have any confusion when it comes to picking out a jig. If you're fishing anywhere 10 feet or plus, I would like to go with a half ounce. The Kraken Craw really slows down the fall of that jig, so I find that to be perfect. If you're fishing 10, 10 feet, foot or shallower, I would tend to go with like a 3 8 ounce, um, kind of along those lines. The jig is pretty special to me. Um, I did have some help in designing it, but mostly our buddy Rackley, and as you guys know, he's a very, very big jig fisherman. And I'm glad to kind of be able to talk about his jig and talk about all the unique features that he put into it, all with his mind. So it's pretty cool. That's kind of the backstory behind the jig, designed by our good buddy Lake Fork guy. So let's get back after it, catch a couple more fish, hopefully some big ones. When you're fishing a jig, you want to look for any sort of cover that is underneath the water. Um, that jig is really meant to make contact with, with what you're fishing. If that makes sense. You want to make sure that, that that bait is touching the wood. Make sure it's touching the grass. Make sure it's touching the rock. And you'll be able to feel that in your rod tip, especially if you're using braid. Um, the reason for braid is it has no stretch, so you have direct contact with that jig head. You can really feel anything underneath the water. I'm just kind of trying to stay away from this brush, 
pass out there at stuff I'm not even seeing either. This could be just stuff that I'm seeing on my fish finder or stuff that I kind of knock with the jig and can tell that that's hard or it's wood or kind of any kind of structure that's underneath the water. Cool part about a jig is you can essentially tell if you're fishing rock, you can tell if you're fishing sand, you can tell if you're fishing mud just by maintaining contact with the bottom. There's another one. Another one on the jig. That one came off rock. So all the other fish before this came off of wood. There's a little rock pile on this point that we side scanned and that fish came right off it, popped the jig. Beauty. If you guys haven't noticed, a lot of our baits are designed with Ketchco. Ketchco is an amazing company that has helped us bring our ideas from something in our heads or on paper into an actual product in stores um, in some of the major retailers as you guys know. But it's been such a cool collaboration. When it comes to designing things and a lot of other companies, they tend to take shortcuts, they tend to cut the lead time in half so that you can guys can have the bait quicker. But with Catch Cool, we've really taken our time making sure it's exactly what we want and exactly what Guggen wants to represent in the market. We haven't taken any shortcuts. We've spent our time really designing these baits, making sure we have the best hook, the best weed guard, adding the weight to the top of the jig to really be different than anything else in the industry. And uh, it's been a really cool experience to be a part of it. Let's catch some more fish. Feels a little bit bigger. I'm not positive. Another nice fish. Oh, there we go. And that right there is how I'd like to fish the gridiron jig. Super happy about the Catch Co. Guggen Squad collaboration. Hope you guys enjoyed this tips and tricks video brought to you by Alex Barrick, AP Bassett. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode.